Welcome. I made a previous video, and I think it was titled The Phantom Power Myth, where I plugged a bunch of chargers and such into a power strip and I connected up to a kilowatt to show that these chargers don't really take a lot of standby phantom power. So I was addressing the recommendation that you unplug these to save electricity, and I think that's kind of a waste of time. I think there are other areas you can focus your energy on in order to save electricity. So I got a comment on there wanting me to test it with the cable connected. So when I had it tested, I had it like this, and the thought is that maybe this cable takes some power. I think there are some electronics in here. So I plugged this in yesterday. It was right around 16 hours ago. So if I can figure out how to use this. Okay, so we, it's 16 hours, nine minutes ago. And right now we're drawing 120 volts, zero amps, zero watts, zero volt amps, 60 hertz. Power factor is one. So that's not to say that this is drawing no electricity whatsoever, it's just not enough that this is even registering on here. So if I hit my menu button again, I can go to cost, and then I can go through here, and it extrapolates the cost for a year, and it's at zero right now. And obviously it's zero for everything else if it's zero for a year. So this is showing that it's not drawing any electricity. So I do want to plug this in to a device so I can show that the cable actually works. So now... If I go down here, it's drawing 0.9 amps, 6.5 watts, 10.9 volt amps. Power factor is 0.59. So it appears that this thing is more or less shutting off. And I should mention, this is an Apple iPhone charger. I'm, there are probably other brands that are similar to this. And this is an Amazon Basics cable. So I do have some other instruments we can use here. This is a Drock USB tester. And I'll put a link in the description to some of these tools I'm using here if you want to do your own testing. That being said, I have this equipment, so if you want something tested, drop a comment below and I might be able to test it for a video. Like if you want to know how much a refrigerator uses or some appliance or something like that. I could put that on my list of things to maybe test in a video. So I'll plug that in here. If I plug it in the right way. And this will tell us how much electricity it's using. It's maybe hard to read. It's saying 5.02 volts and 0.94 amps. So that's with the iPad plugged in. I'll unplug the iPad and that dropped down to zero. So I'll plug this back in. I have one more thing to do. Since my last video, I've purchased a thermal camera. Okay, so I took a little break. I had the kilowatt plugged in, but I disconnected that and just plugged the power adapter directly into my power strip. The reason being that this was giving off heat in and of itself. So now we can look at this with the thermal camera and you can see the kilowatt in the background still has a little bit of heat in it, but the power adapter here is about ambient temperature and then the cord is too. Let's move in on this here. I did think I saw some heat coming from the connector here but I don't currently see any. Let's see if I move that out on its own. You can see how this really picks up heat. So it looks like there could be some heat there. Now, this doesn't line up exactly right because I'm holding the camera very close. The way this thermal camera works is it merges a regular digital camera image with the thermal image, and it doesn't always line them up perfectly, especially when things are close. When things are farther away, it is more accurate. So let's take a look at the adapter here so you can see you can't really see heat coming off of this now you can see heat coming off the switch and there's just like a little light bulb in there but the power adapter itself doesn't seem to be giving off any heat noticeable heat so i thought that was an interesting question if the lightning cable has a draw in and of itself and in my tests here with the kilowatt the thermal camera and the drock usb tester it doesn't appear to have any significant draw so that's all i'm going to cover in this video if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.